Hey guys, in today's video, I want to talk about settings on your iPhone that you should never turn off. Today, we're going to go over a few settings and options on your iPhone in order to improve the user experience, the performance, the battery life, and most importantly to me, privacy and security of your data and your device. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First, I want to talk about privacy and security, and I want to talk about a feature called Rapid Security Response. Now, Rapid Security Response is a feature that allows Apple to send an automatic update to the file system of your iPhone in the rare circumstances where there's a security flaw that needs to be patched basically instantly and Apple doesn't have the time to prepare a full software update, they can send this rapid security response, update the file system, and keep their iPhone users safe. So in order to enable rapid security response, you want to jump into general, you want to head on over into software updates, and under automatic updates, you can see three options right here. You have iOS updates, you have the rapid security response or the security response and system files and you have iOS updates automatically. So the one option I recommend you enable is the security response and system file. Again, this is going to allow Apple to send any security file updates to the file system of your device instantly. Again, in the rare circumstances where Apple finds that there's a security flaw within the operating system that needs to be patched almost instantly and they can't deliver a software update fast enough in order to keep their users protected. So make sure that you enabled that security response and system files option. Next, I want to talk about stolen device protection. Now, stolen device protection is a feature that you can find under the privacy and security section on your iPhone. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you have the stolen device protection. Now, what this feature will do is create a delay in order to change any iCloud settings on your device. It will protect you from two things. Number one, it will protect you from anyone that happens to know your iPhone's passcode from changing any iCloud settings on your device without your permission and it will also protect you in the rare circumstances where someone just snatches your phone out of your hand while you're out in public and tries to go under iCloud settings and make any iCloud setting changes. So this basically creates a delay to prevent anyone that may know your passcode from changing anything in your iCloud settings including your password and it also prevents anyone that happens to steer your phone or something like that from making any changes. Again, if you have stolen device protection turned off, I highly recommend recommend you enable this feature on your device immediately. Now, I also want to talk about send last location. This is a find my feature that is off by default because it allows Apple to get your final location before your iPhone dies. And this is a life-saving feature and it can also help you retrieve your device if you ever lose it and the battery dies. Now, you can jump into settings on your iPhone, head on over into your iCloud settings and right here you have the find my option. So, tap into find my and on the top you have find my iPhone, click on find my iPhone and right here this last option on the bottom right here so if your iPhone's battery ever drops to like two or three percent right before it dies it will send your final location from your device to Apple so Apple can help you retrieve your device or most importantly if you ever get lost Apple can use this location to help find you as well now again this option is off by default because it is a privacy thing but I recommend everyone to enable it because if you ever get lost or lose your device this can help retrieve your device or even find you in the rare circumstances that you ever get lost. So yeah, the find my options, send a last location, I always enabled on my iPhone and I recommend everyone to enable it as well. Now, last but not least, in regards to privacy, I also want to talk about one option that I think everyone should enable on their iPhone and that is the advanced data protection. So you can find that under iCloud and in iCloud settings. If we tap here and scroll down, you have the advanced data protection. Now, this feature is turned off by default but this option I recommend everyone to enable because it encrypts and saves your data. It puts you in control of all your data and it gets encrypted and no one can get access to it, not even Apple, and it will protect things like messages, photos, files, notes. Everything that you see here will be encrypted and only you will have access to this data on your device and on iCloud.com. So advanced data protection, another one of those privacy features that I also recommend everyone to enable. Next, I want to talk about battery life and these are going to be simple settings you should never turn off to improve battery life and the lifespan of the physical battery on your iPhone so that you don't have to replace the battery of your device as often. So keep in mind these are going to be simple settings without having to tap into the smart capabilities of your device in order to improve the battery life. Number one, I always recommend obviously use dark mode at all times if you can. So just simply using dark mode and dark icons and even a dark wallpaper and dark theme will help 
improve battery life without really having to tamper with any additional settings on your iPhone. This is something that is very, very simple. Now, something else you may want to do to improve battery life is go under the battery section of your iPhone and see some of these suggestions. You see these suggestions here? These will help improve the battery life of your iPhone and even protect your iPhone's display. For example, the auto lock feature I have is set to never as of right now for the filming of the video so that the iPhone's display doesn't dim and interact with the video quality. But every time I set this to about three minutes, so you can go ahead and change right there the auto lock to about two to three minutes and your iPhone will automatically lock. Now auto brightness is one of those options that I also turn off when I'm filming so it doesn't interact with the video quality. But auto brightness, if you have it turned off, I recommend you enable auto brightness right there it is as you can see in order to improve the battery life of your iPhone and also the longevity of your iPhone's display as well. So this does two things right there. So two simple options that would improve battery life, preserve your iPhone's display. Now, last but not least, I want to talk about charging limit. Now, charging limit is a feature available on iPhone 15 or later that helps you set a specific charge limit when you go to charge your device. You can choose from 80, 85, 90, 95, or 100. Now, you may be asking yourself, who will want to limit themselves to 80% charge and 90% charge? And I have to say, ever since I bought this iPhone 16 Pro Max, I've noticed one major difference, and you can enable this option yourself by going into the battery section, go under the charging options, and right here you can set a charge limit. Now, mine has been set to 90 ever since I bought this iPhone 16 Pro Max, and the one major difference that I've noticed in comparison to previous generation iPhones, for example, the iPhone 14 Pro Max, is battery health. Health, which of course means longer battery life over time and also better performance but not only that this will also increase the lifespan of my iPhone's battery as well so I don't have to replace it as often so right here you see that I have 271 full charge cycles the maximum capacity is still at 100 normal a little over six months after using the iPhone 16 Pro Max as a heavy user in comparison to an iPhone 14 Pro Max, for example, the battery health this same time around for that device was about 94. So having the charge limit has actually improved battery life, performance, battery health, and extend the lifespan of the iPhone's battery. And over time, this will help you save money as well. And again, you won't really notice the difference because your iPhone really just learns from your behavior, how to use your device, and it will suggest and recommend the proper recommendation for charge limit. Now, again, these are going to be some of the settings and options I recommend you never turn off on your iPhone. And if you don't have them turned on, I recommend you do so immediately. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found this information helpful. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.